mixed in with all of the other announcements from WWDC were a number of changes to Image Playground. While this was really gimmicky at first and just kind of like a one-off, hey, you can do this type thing, showing the, I guess, restricted benefits of Apple intelligence at the time, now Apple has decided to open this up to ChatGPT and image generation thanks to some of their tools. They say this is still very secure and works the same way as before. And as you can see up top, now you have a different style called ChatGPT. In addition to this, there's a number of specific options you can select from, or just any style, in addition to Apple's own, animation, illustration, sketch, Genmoji being new, and ChatGPT. So we'll go ahead and jump right into this with ChatGPT, and we will jump through each of these styles to show you exactly what to expect. Let's just do some generic prompts and see what it comes up with, and we'll start with oil painting. We'll say, picture of Apple Park at sunset, and send that prompt out. And now, this will do this in that oil painting style we selected, and then you can obviously add to it and do it very similar to how you did before. I did find the few times I've used this, it does take a little while to generate, as you can see here. I'm not sure why that is necessarily, but it does take longer than if you used Apple's own. Again, not sure if this is the beta or by design or just what happens here in general. So yeah, very interesting nonetheless. When it loads, you will see this oil painting style, hopefully of Apple Park. And there we go. So again, this is the oil painting style, thanks to ChatGPT. If you wanna switch it to watercolor, you can do that. And again, you see a slightly new animation ring here. However, the picture process just takes a lot longer than what I think a lot of people would like. If anybody is familiar with generating images from any ChatGPT, Gemini, any other sources like that, you know, it does take quite a few seconds, even on Gronk, it does take a while. However, I feel if you're using an app like this, people aren't going to get a sense without a progress bar of just how long this could take, and they'll get frustrated, simply swipe away, and never utilize this. So maybe, perhaps in another beta, they will add some sort of progress bar, or even using this spinning colored toolbar here as a sort of reference for when an image will be created. But right now, how this looks, I truly don't see anybody uninitiated with generated imaging, seeing how long they take and using this long term, simply for the fact of just how long it takes. So here we go again. This is now the watercolor style. I'll do vector next. Here is that vector style imaging. Next up is going to be anime. So let's go ahead and click that. All right, here is the anime style of our prompt. And then lastly is going to be print. These all do seem to be averaging about one minute to generate just to give you some sort of timeline. And the final one print just finished generating and you can see what that looks like here as well. So again, about a minute or so each, and that is definitely longer than most of the other programs out there, but at least it is an option built right in now to Image Playground. The next new one is Genmoji, like we said, and when you click on that, this will use your prompt and generate a new image for you, and you can see this is what came up, and it does show up a lot quicker. It'll give you a couple of options, and then keep regenerating a new one every time you swipe. So. This is clearly a much more generic offering here. Apple Park is not even in this picture, and you can see what options are here. But let's go ahead and describe a new one, and let's say shark riding a surfboard. So we'll go ahead and submit this prompt, remove the Apple Park piece, and then when this generates, what's cool is I'm sure you can see that image on the top right there. You can simply say add emoji here, and I actually like the way that came out. That's pretty cool. Let's just see what else. Yeah, we'll use this first one right here. We'll add emoji, and just like that, it has been added to your emoji gallery. One thing that's really cool, and I'm not sure if you caught it there, when you actually go into a prompt. So let's go ahead and just mix a couple emojis here, like we know our other good ones. 
in the new OS update 426, whether you're in a FaceTime call or you have any really visually stunning imaging, this is actually in HDR. So when you click, these buttons do give an HDR effect, which is very cool. I know the camera is going to be hard to show. I'll upload this in HDR format, so hopefully you can see just how neat that is. But yeah, certain elements in the new UI does actually give you uh, HDR pieces to it. And I actually really do like it. So here you go. You can see what kind of got created here. Nothing great, and that's kind of interesting looking. But yeah, we know the limitations in general of Apple intelligence and all that. But that is some of the new changes here in Image Playground. Again, animation, illustration, and sketch have been there since iOS 18. And then you can obviously keep creating and doing whatever you'd like in general through here. So let me know, do you still see this as a gimmicky feature? Are you going to use it more? I'm very curious. I don't use it that much personally, but I can see where there'd be some added benefit for people that might want to take advantage of some of these options. The Genmoji creation, I believe you can actually do that from any prompt inside, uh, even in texting or any app that you want to create it in. Let me know what you think down below. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.